Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome back to another episode of this modded Minecraft series. And today, in this episode, um, I am standing on top of the giant, 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 giant wall um, that we built last episode, and There's now. Materials in you. Oh, <laughs> uh, and now I did say in this episode that I was gonna go do some touch-ups to the wall, but we're not gonna do that right now because that I feel would be boring. Like, Speed one slow. Kind of one. building, building this wall was a little bit boring, but I mean it looks amazing, in my opinion. And the, and the last episode hasn't even released yet, so I don't know what people are saying. But when the wall touch-up episode, I'll look in the comment. I'll have uploaded the episode by then and look in the comments, but. Yeah, this amazingly big wall. It took me like 12 hours to build, and I placed every block by hand. I, I just, I, a little while ago, I edited the episode, so I know how it turned out. I also um, got a temporary, might be temporary, free movie, uh, or movie? No, um, free video editing software. Um, it, that was, uh, I saw a website that was like replacements for Movie Maker. And because Movie Maker. Because Movie Maker, one of the the oh, the, wall, the biggest, the the widest, most freely you, the biggest free movie video editing software has was discontinued apparently at the tenth of twenty seventeen. I don't even know how I got it on my on a, on a current server computer because we bought that in like May of twenty seventeen. So I don't know. But today, guys, we are going to be doing something. Amazing, not just talking about how good this wall looks and is. Um, so I'm now going to go over to head over to spawn and meet Jerry Cool for like kind of like a talk and stuff, and I'll see. Alright guys. Hey. Oh yeah. Hey guys. Woo! Um so I'm here with I'm in creative mode. <laughs> Same here. Uh yeah, I just realized that because guys, uh pretend that never happened. Uh what we were doing is oh We were doing some <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what we were doing is we were doing some uh, we were doing some maintenance on spawn to figure out why the command blocks we have here weren't working. It appears that what the? it turns out the command blocks um, aren't enabled here. What? It just teleported to me. I have no idea where that is. Anyhow. Uh, so, Jared Cole, are you going to explain what I'm doing here today? Today on Squidward Chat. <laughs> Alright, so today, the reason I am here and talking loudly is. How are you gonna say? Here. Today, we are doing the, sp the space race. That doesn't hurt him. It will hurt me, though, because I have uh, only one piece of it. I'll let that go. You have. You have boot slime boots, and then you have a slime boots, and then you have engineers overalls, a carbon jetpack, yeah, and an emerald use he carbon helmet. I think I gave that to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, I mean, so I explain. Will ya? All right. So I don't even know. What, we don't even know what the rules are. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're because this is um space race. We are race. We are racing to space. Like I did that in order. <laughs> yes, we are. So yeah, we're starting out here just to spawn together. We're gonna teleport back to our houses and or yeah, our houses really. And then right, I'm gonna race off to my um my um my um place. Race off to my um. Wait, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna so race off to my place by train. My um my launch launch site by train. I'll be moving back and forth definitely definitely between. Spots. Yeah. So, um, before we go, well, are we gonna do like one more thing? Really? Oh, flag show. So, okay, so I'll take out mine here and we'll place them down. Right. Three, two, one, place. So, this is the right What thing. is that? Is that a cup? No, that's, that, that's an explosion. Oh, I thought that was trophy. 
Uh, it's kind of hard to draw an explosion on that small a scale. Well, like she says, you just says so dirty. Thin. Mine is on this side, yours is on this side. I thought that was a trophy, man. No, that's not You don't deserve no trophy. <laughs> no, we'll add an actual... We'll, we'll put an actual trophy on the... T oh, <laughs> we'll put a trophy over top of the... Uh, the, uh, uh, for the winner after they win. But so you, actually, uh, my, my flag is also actually we are not going to go chuck these flags into lava because we did not get these legitimately. We just got them to show you guys what we had. What? So no, I thought we were going to use them to place them down. No, we have to create them ourselves. Like, they are actually craftable, dude. You're ridiculous, boy. So does that mean we're starting? Um, sure. Why not? There's some lava over here in case you want to. Hey, can I just drop my pickaxe. Well, um, I'm off. Bye. Okay, guys. So I am now here in the in a new room in the base. As you can see, it's actually you know, the latest room in the hallway here. I also put another um, travel anchor all the way at the end of the hallway just to make it a little easier. But this is going to be our Galacticraft room. You can see the travel anchor is called Mission Control, spelled as best as I can. Oh, we have a place here where I launch an exhaust fumes tunnel. As you can see, it's just quartz here. What? That is what? What? Recording. Sorry for that cut, guys. Anyhow, so yeah, um, in this room here, you know, we have an ME system connection here and a power connection here. So now I will be starting to work on on crafting things that we need to go to outer space first, hopefully. All right, guys. So I've now made the first machine from Galacticraft, the Circuit Fabricator. Now this is gonna be. Um, I don't know why I pulled the. You know what? This the circuit fabricator. This is gonna be one of the base items for making things. And uh, let's on Um, 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 we need to make a compressor here. Of course, a basic way for. Right. Here we go. Let's see. Which is silicon, redstone, redstone torch. So. Sweet. Red some torch. Um, got some silicon. Yes. E got some redstone, I guess. Also, mom. Oh, oh never mind. Um, and do you have to use Galacticraft silicon? Oh. No. Uh, actually, no, you don't. It just won't shift in. No, I can't. I got uh, The, the Enderio stuff just won't shift in. I'm sorry, I'm just showing you this, guys, but this yeah, will help us get to the next item. I'll just cut now till we make that. Alright, guys, so I have our next item already. Oh, jeez, I'm eating a popsicle here. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm the best. And so this one doesn't have a power hook up because it needs best. fuel. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> That's 130% debatable. <laughs> there. Fuel. This is what my diamonds are for. This is what redstone is for. Okay. Do do? All right, guys. I got another item. The refinery. Um, I probably should place this. Ahead. Yes, yes, I am. I should probably should place this more out central in the room because it's got an input side and an output side. Um, I'm going to need to make uh, an Ender IO tank in a second. Let's power this. So now is the point where I go to uh, teleport down to the mine, Upper where I have, where very early on in, in where, oh. where very early on in the process of making this world, I or or in get making this mine. Oh jeez, that's a big chunk that was. I as, as I was making my mine, I found this patch of crude oil from Galacticraft, and so earlier today I set up this pump here to collect it and this drum here to collect it up. And so far, it's completely drained the entire uh, oil patch. So, um, way to go, way to go, pump. I might need, I might find another patch. Dang it! I might try to find another patch later, but um, let me just collect all these capacitor banks. Oh, my drum, my drum landed down here. That would have been a catastrophe. Um, so yeah, let's go back home now. Actually, no, no need to. I'm actually relatively close. Um, I got my tra tra travel uh, and dryer room. That's the biggest one. And then there. Okay. Also, this is slightly out of the range of the wireless charger. If I go to this corner of the room, it is not. But, um. Oh, what side is the input? 
I'm thinking that's the output, so... I'll put this here. Insert. And extract. Always active. Oh, and I was just slowly refining fuel. I'm going to need some... Yep, so, uh, JRD Cool, in case you haven't heard me, I'm already refining fuel. Oh, I gotta head back to my house in order to do that. Yeah, JRD Cool has two separate bases for, um, doing this gl Galacticraft stuff. Oh, okay. Um, push to that, and also pull there. Holy cow. Push so, there. Um, okay, so, I got two tanks here. Okay. So now as I craft other things, this thing will just be here slowly refining fuel. This thing is slowly emptying, slowly, and then it's being refined into fuel. I don't know how much RF this is using. I don't know. Anyhow, I'll see you with the next item. Alright everybody, now here we go. Boom, NASA workbench. Um, this thing is quite big generally. Uh, can I put it up against this wall here? Not enough room. Uh, I guess I'll have to put it, like, right here. Not enough room, not enough room. Not enough. Oh, is the ceiling a little too low? Hold up. Um, I got this back corner, I guess, roped off for the thing. I should have, um, in, I should have counted on building a space for this thing, I just realized, when I built this room. So there we go. Oh, I needed an extra block of the ceiling. I'll have to go make that look better later after I win the space race. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, rocket. Let's build a rocket and, uh, actually, uh, right, stop recording. Alright, guys, so, I've made lo the launch pads here. This will take a little bit of a while. I think next I'm going to be making a brand new, uh, electric compressor, which, d which will, comp which compresses, I believe, a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah, I used dark steel iron bars there that I had left over from crafting something a little while ago. I think it was the telepads, maybe? I don't know, something Andrea um, has if you this have to make it look charred. If you have a pressurized um, tank from Andrea, that's what it is for. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, e I know. I yeah, so yeah, the launch pad's texture has changed apparently since I last used it. Um, e um, next clip where I've upgraded that. Alright, guys, e so e I am upgrading my standard compressor to an electric compressor. Electrically, beep 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 boop And now I'm going to go make a second Wait, one of these. Just beep 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 boop bop. I will control the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to com completely create another one of these from scratch. So stand by, <laughs> guys. It's almost two, two. Oh, here, here we go. Like I, I'm about to make two electric compressors. You sound like you need medical attention. Oh, I haven't felt this insane since uh, it's a time it was installing over 300 molecular assemblers in the downstairs region of my base. You know, the last episode, the last thing I uploaded to YouTube uh, before we went away for like three I think months. You need to, okay, I, I'm serious about this. Okay. I think you need to take a stand up, walk upstairs. Run, run around, up, run around a bit, and then come back before before getting back to work. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, I'm actually gonna start get are gonna start work on the rocket. Also, look at how half this tank is half full. This tank has like two in it. Um, this thing is steadily refining. Okay, guys, just sidetracked for a little bit of a second. I just made myself a parachute, and these four canvases are gonna be for a flag. But I don't currently have the ability to get materials. So, parachute check. Um. There's a whole lot of other stuff here that I'm going to need, but that stuff I'll get to later after I build the rocket, because it usually requires some of this compressed junk. Oh no, I had like... And this right. stuff here is needed to go to Mars, but no, no, I got all the other stuff. Okay guys, I just finished making all the heavy duty plates, and it was like twice as much as I thought it was making, because I didn't realize that in the compressor it'll make two every time. Oh, so annoying. Anyhow. Rocket. I probably need a whole lot more than this, but I'm gonna try to make as much of this rocket as I can on camera for you guys right now. So we got the nose cone. Um, that is gonna be one of the most complicated things. So I'll save that for last. Oh. 
<sighs> I made the nose cone. I need... I need eight more compressed steel, so... I'll see you then. Once I got also a lot of other things. Okay, guys. Thing on my frame rate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we are back here. Uh, just drop one of those, and I will now make the rest of the rocket f right in front of your eyes. For all, for all to behold. And I need this thing, and I have only that stuff. Okay, so flint and steel. Check. On this thing. Check. And I don't want to do the co the copper one of those. I want to do the tin canister. Do I have enough for the copper one? Oh, I do have enough in my system. Good. Um, I don't have a button. Button. The one thing that I don't have. A stone. One lone stone button. And guys, that is the entire. The entire tier one rocket constructed. Don't bother putting storage on it because my inventory is all I need. Boom! Yeah, that's the thing I, I oh, already got. That does not oh that does not look good. What? Look at my screen. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> I don't know how the rocket feels getting squished to glass. Ooh, this looks weird. <laughs> this kinda looks like this is gonna this is a landmine or something, just like a red dot on a pole sticking up out of the ground. Oh, it's like it's like an antenna or something. Yeah. But no, that's a rocket ship. I will be removing this glass when I launch, just so you guys know. So, the next thing that actually pertains to this rocket that I'm going to do, by the way, this whole tank full, this tank half full, um, is going to be a fuel loader, and I will get that for, uh, and you are so, wait, have be you got, ready. Are you, wait, have you gotten all your oxygen in this? No, not yet. Oh, um, I will do that, and I'll be right- Alright, guys! I did not prepare well enough! Yes, thanks for pointing out your flaws on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuel loader down. It doesn't connect to the launch pad thingy anymore. Dang, now I placed this thing in the wrong direction. Bad, bad! Help me! There we go. Oh, now, hey, it's, it's suddenly brighter over here. Um, I need to run power cable. Oh, here we go. That's there we go. So now there's power cables running to this thing, which is gaining power. Um, now all that's needed is the fuel supply. I will eventually have this thing supplied from like a few. Fuel... Good thing I don't have to go. I don't have to go out to find Flint. Out to my house to find Flint. I just have to go fly into fly locally to yeah. get some. Guys, after this is all over, I will show you JD Cool's um area that he's in. Yes. The area that he's in making all, all this stuff, like, and where he's going to be launching from. That's after we're, we've are we gotten to space, though. Um, uh, active with signal there, and insert, so let me get a lever. Oh, that, that that's a self-undoing, that's a self-turning off lever, so. I got a, ah, my hand must have been over the shift button, because I did not mean to craft a stack of levers. off now um now i'm not gonna be taking off here guys because i am not prepared what i'm going to do is uh inventory slash fuel g this thing is slowly getting loaded with fuel i'll wait till this thing is at a hundred percent fuel and okay it all, also it automat autos you into third person yeah, but this- oh wow, that actually sucked a lot of fuel out of this tank. Just to load this- just to fill up the fuel loader. Um, this thing is almost full, but this thing will be the tank that I carry with me to the moon. Um, what am I going to- what am I doing now? Uh, I need to make- I need to get started on oxygen production and all that sort of stuff. So, I'll meet you in a bit once I got the collector and all that sort of junk. Hey guys, um, just a, just a quick random update here. I just made a flag. Pre-launch checklist. Ooh, okay. Alright guys, so, uh, I made an oxygen collector. Placing it down right there, so that's the fuel exhaust, or the oxygen exhaust right there once I get an oxygen pipe. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to orientate the oxygen compressor, but... 
I'm gonna make that in a couple seconds. All right, everybody. I made the oxygen compressor, which will be useful for. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to put conduits on this wall. Stop. Just get out of the way there. Um. Yeah, I got compressed aluminum. I just need compressed copper. So, oh, let's put this one block of quartz back there. Copper. Um, face fade. On me. There we go. Um, am I still recording? Am I still recording? Oh, sorry about this, guys. Uh, sorry about this kind of long recording. Uh, oxygen pipe, that's what I need. You mean it's fluid pipe? Really? Is it just a fluid pipe now? It's called fluid pipe. Uh, wait, will, will a fluid conduit work? Probably. Considering this is now oxygen is now considered Actually, liquid. I so. Oh, I think it does! It does! Um, I can go home and get some fluid conduits for that. that that's yeah. Fine. But you can't use okay. it for crafting, though. You're still gonna need that. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, you need to credit? Anyhow, guys. Yes. Oh, on to the tanks. Hello? Okay, guys. I said I was going to be doing the tank next, but I made a quick stop making oxygen gear, which is the thing that brings the oxygen from the tanks to um our head. And you can't... The jetpack completely hides it. Like, if I take it off, you can kind of see it a little bit there. But the, the, if I take off the jetpack and the, I, just the jetpack, you can see that it's there. But the jetpack kind of hides it. On to the tanks. Okay, guys, so I got the oxygen tanks. Like, I actually am almost ready to go to space. I just gotta make two more oxygen tanks and then fill both of them up. Um. Uh, the infinite oxygen tank. Creative only. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that. What do you know? Anyhow, they're, they're really not. They're really kind of cheap, actually. Except I need. Uh, that's not actually a problem. In. So make some more canisters. Really, I'm running out of tin that much. I'm not. No, okay. I, I just have to craft more. That's all. What's the other thing that I need? I, I swear I needed something else. Oh, I also need a little bit more uh, yeah. s compressed steel. Just take the last of the compressed steel that I was working on over there there and done another compre okay so i'll meet i'll get you guys back when this thing is when all my tanks are full okay guys just a quick stop i made an oxygen helmet which i kind of almost for Dang, damn it. which i kind of almost forgot that i was missing it's actually called an oxygen mask put it there now i have some uh glass around my head also have one oxygen tank back there I've, it's like looks so weird with the jetpack on but uh, let's go quickly check how the uh, this tank here is doing. Oh, good, it's full. I like how these jetpacks are nice and 3D on your back. I put, oh, yep. Yep, more oxygen tanks here. But, but guys, I, I forgot that you can just click up, click them on. Now, a frequency trans... Another fuel loader. I have some castle ranks. Uh, a, a, frequency um, a frequency thing, and that's all I'm going to need. And then I'm off to space. Oh, this thing is full. Okay, guys, all the tanks are charged, and I got the frequency module, which sits right there. I don't know what that thing is there. Oh, you can see now I have the dish there. Um, I am fully kitted out for space. I just need uh, another fuel loader, and I will have everything I need to blast off to the moon. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys, it is about time. Let me just click my flag here. Um, I have some pressure, I have some fluid conduits, I have some energy conduits, I have capacitor banks, I have a fluid, fluid, I have my fuel tank, I have heavy oxygen tank, I have a couple, of two spare heavy oxygen tanks. I was hoping this would be close. E. Um, and I am about ready to go, so let me just vein mine this glass quickly. Collect all that carpet. Put that there. And guys, uh, for the other third person mode, thank you. So I can what? at least right, partially see my face. So guys, now, in 20 seconds, I will now, in 20 seconds, be launching off. 18, 17, 16, 15, 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, the iron bar sailed. 4, 3, <coughs> <laughs> oh, this room was so smoky. Those iron bars did not. The, the, the smoke. The particles did not go through the iron bars. And now you can see my entire base as we leave it for the stars. You can see my perimeter wall that we worked on in the last episode. The train tracks. Okay, the fog just kind of went away, and th now it all dissolves into a general Minecraft map. I launched from apparently right in the middle of water. Apparently, or right on the edge of water. I don't think that is actually the case. I don't think there's an ocean nearby, actually, so I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but I don't think it is. But yes, I, guys, have won, or almost won, the space race. Side quest, build a space station. No, dude, that, that, that takes a lot of resources. I have to screenshot that screen. Can you see the flag in my hand? No. no. It won't show up in the rocket, but yeah. You can see the meter, oh guys. Uh, oh. oh, here we are, guys. So, planet.mars is... Uh, okay, okay, Dad, I'm recording. Um, So, planet.mars is currently not available because we need galactic craft planets to get there. However, the overworld's available. You can see we created a space station. I have the iron on me. It takes... Well, let me screenshot the screen quickly. I mean, why, is it, why would the overworld not be available? Um... So we're going to zoom into the overworld here. We got the moon. I'm just going to launch for the moon. I didn't click. Oh, oh, oh. Are you okay? Uh, yes. Okay, hold up. My dad is working on the breaker box that's like right is next to my computer. computer. okay? Yes, it's fine. I'm still using it. Launch for the moon. Oh, it's taking one solid step. You see that, guys? Oh, yeah. Hold space to slow down. Look at your... Alright. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> 10 yeah. meters a second. I, mean, I admitted no. defeat 30 seconds after I after you left the house. Uh, yeah, after I, Oh, you can see my jetpack particles right there. If you're wondering about this particles coming up from my... There goes. That's from my jetpack. <laughs> um, that should be all full. I have the capacitor banks. Everything should be fine. Oh, I see the surface of the moon loading in. The mini-map had already loaded in. Um, there will be enemies here, which is going to be very annoying. Uh, that might be a dungeon over there. I know you can't actually see where I'm pointing because... I don't want to look over the space bar right now. I can actually look over it now. So, this is what the inside of this looks like, apparently. So, oh, ooh, that does not sound good. Okay. Yeah, well, no. Jump. It's not good. Yeah. Well, nothing has spawned. I'll take out my rocket here. Um, I'll just place down my launch pad here and my rocket. Um, yeah. Um, I can now. I'll get on top of this hill to this block here. You know, just jetpack over here. It's a lot easier to fly in outer space. And I am almost good. It's not waving at all. Chase D, I have won the space chase. Does it say it on your screen? Um, no. It said, but when I loaded into uh, the moon, it said taking one small step instead of loading train. It's not. Um, that's not good. I'm not taking liquid out. Oh, I don't know, dude. Right, you might need to store it in tanks or just use. Uh, um. Um, L A U N P A D launch pad. It's gonna be green, I guess. It's gonna be green like home. Um, save that. I now have. Oh, it's yellow apparently. Hold up. Yeah, it's yellow ish. Um, but yeah, I now have a place on the moon. There is a, a wee bit of fuel left in this thing, but I will set up my return station before I go back. So I'll put a fuel loader here. I'll put the capacitor... Alright, good thing gravity will do my bidding around here. Uh, yeah, pff, yeah, gravity? I what? Did. I'll put my, uh, very high power... That thing has multiple sides, okay. Bro. Um, my capacitor bro, bank I, there. Bro, look at this. I, I have no, normal fluid pipes, I just took okay. a whole bunch well, of... Well, I'm on the moon right now, so... So... Yes, this is taking forever for JRD Cole to get up here. You know, I need more steel. I'm just gonna let this stuff sit here. You're not gonna pick up the tank because that could be disastrous. 
So hopefully I don't die up here because then I'm going to go back down to Earth and then Jared Cole's going to have to come up and collect my stuff later. <laughs> but yeah, uh, how much does... Uh, I, I, I pretty much have full power on my jetpack, so I have a waypoint so I can explore the moon at will. I probably won't do too much flying around the surface of the moon. Ooh! Ooh! I'm already finding meteors, which is good. Meteors are really useful. Meteor, meteoric iron. Meteoric iron is good, and we can actually farm. Oh, I see a village. Oh, we can actually farm meteoric iron. By back the way, on did Earth, you just say good. you have to try not to die? Yeah. Good luck, not, good luck at, at dying, actually. I don't think it's nighttime right now, so I don't think the mobs can spawn. And also, the, the other thing is, you have armor on that will protect you. Not from suffocating. Oh, good point. Yeah, so I need one more meteoric iron and then I can create the ore. But these are space villagers. They do. They, oh, you can trade with them now! Okay. Two lunar sapphire. Well, lunar sapphire are the unit of currency when trading with alien villagers for an oxygen mass. Three of them for a light oxygen tank with almost with 665 oxygen remaining. That's still pretty good. Um. You can get oxygen four of them for oxygen gear. You can get partially filled canisters of fuel, parachutes, batteries, and even fuel for empty canisters plus money. A basic wafer for three, that's kind of a ripoff. A tier two rocket? You don't even have to go to the dungeon, you can just trade with one of these guys. A moon buggy for the tier two rocket and uh, lunar sapphires. How do you get the. Oh, I haven't finished looking through this guy's trades actually. Oh, uh, Joy, there's a lot of villagers. Uh, compressed copper, compressed iron, 11 jungle saplings for a lunar sapphire. Which will be good, because I have a ton of lunar sapphires after building that wall and just obliterating all the, Do the you leaves. Say lunar sapphires? I mean, I a ton of jungle saplings after, after obliterating tons of jungle leaves. Do each of these guys have a different method of payment, or it's all just jungle saplings? That might have been the same guy. Let me just check at the end. I think they all have pretty much the same trades. Yeah, so you just have varying amounts of how many jungle saplings it takes. You just gotta do a little shopping around for the you best. You want me like, to go stop at my house, at your house then, before I leave? Uh, nah, I can, I guess, come back. If I really want. Actually, actually, yes, please do, actually. Yeah, so one guy has 11, so it varies, just... Oh yeah, they have different types of trees up here. Like, instead of having actual food farms, they have tree farms. I'm recording in case anybody forgot. Around me. I'll just steal all these saplings. Oh, jungle saplings are like the one type of sapling that you can't get on the moon, I guess. Or one of those, so that's why you can trade those. But that's good! So now I don't actually have to find a moon dungeon like I, like I was initially going to do. Did I bring my axe? Oh, I did. Oh, but. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh. Wait, should I be. Should I collect everything and just bring my axe and compressor in that up there? Um, eh, unless you're planning on creating an airlock at the moment, I, w I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, I got, yeah, I got, um, Wait, hold up. Just out of I curiosity. I got the electricity out of everything. Oh, I see another meteor. Uh, this guy. What's this trade at the end here? 20. If I kill you, one swipe. Okay, you don't drop anything. Excuse me. That's nice. There's a meteorite. Must have recently fallen. You can have these caves here. You can get cheese. By the way, guys, you can get cheese on the moon. Oh, there's an evolved dummy. Oh, there's some cheese ore. I can still one shot these guys on the moon. Also, recently I upgraded my sword with some of the levels that I had on it. Oh, cheese. Give me the cheese. Poor cheese. <laughs> Even with Fortune 3, it still doesn't give me that much cheese. Anyway, I still kind of want to find a moon dungeon so I don't have to pay, you know? Um, I saw a hole that I was thinking might contain a moon dungeon on the way down, but. You know, we'll see. Isn't there a way to find a moon dungeon? Um, it's a creative item. It's called the Dungeon Finder, but it's only created one. So as I was falling down, I saw a hole off in one of the directions that I thought might be a this direction. Also, there's no such thing as fall damage on the moon, so because that's you nice. Gradually in here, but you, cause you gently float. Actually, actually, now that I think about it, there might be fall damage if you get really high up. Oh right, I need a little bit. But it's I just I my boots also protect me from I fall need damage. A bit more compressed steel. Nope. Also, my computer's like tilted ninety. It's tilted at an unusual angle right now, so it's unusually close to my elbows. So why don't you push out? Oh, is because Dad might need to uh, get at the breaker box again. He's still working at the breaker box. 
Oop, is this is that a dungeon? Nope, that's a cave. There's a lot of caves on the moon, which is interesting. I like all my food fried. Okay, dude, I don't. I like all of my food fried. Oh yeah, guys. Um, I guess I'm just waiting for Jared Quill at this point, who's taking forever on his space program. Oh, is this oh, a dungeon? Oh, well, excuse me. Now that I think about it, the dungeons generally operate out of craters, so... Which you do see frequent amounts of here on the moon. I should probably not just waste my jetpack and fly. I should use that if it's only an emergency. Although, this is kind of slow not flying because of the low gravity on the moon. Although, I'll pick up, pick up plenty of moon rock. Do you have any, any lunar torches? Actually, I, I, I stole some from a village. <laughs> But close and torches, yeah, I have some of those. Man, they've updated the texture of these to be high res. Um, hold up, let me check where I am uh, oh, compared hey, to my launch got, pad, which you is... You can't connect, connect conduits that are already thick. Connect. Already full, okay. JSC Cole, can you eat the cheese? Yes, you can. But you can also make it into a bigger block of cheese if you get enough of it, so... Kind of like a cake, except made out of cheese. Cheese. I mean, it's cheese. Why would you not? It's, <coughs> it's cheese. Why would you not be able to eat it? Right, that would just be ridiculous. Also, it's from the moon? Yeah, well, to go. I mean, you, everybody says the moon's made of cheese, and this we is proof that it is. Pressurized fluid, con fluid conduit. Okay, guys. Move stuff vertically. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will. Uh, Chicken. What? Ch look at this. I don't even know how I got down there. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to get back to my launch pad and wait for Jared to cool, and I'm going to be, and then I'll, 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 I'll meet up with you guys then. Okay, guys, as I am still waiting for Jared cool up here. You almost called me yourself. Ah. Um, I moved my mini-map to the bottom corner of my screen here because the um, fuel bars and junk were covering it. Does that help? Also, I, I was dismantling a villager's house. And I filled up my inventory, so... Jared, I want to meet Jared Cool up here in a minute. But I, I, I was actually surprised how quickly I was actually able to get up to the moon. I thought it was going to be a lot closer to a race than it was on it, too. But, I mean, I guess I'll wait for Jared Cool some more. Alright, guys. Jared Cool is... No, you can't. Cause my runner's Jared Cool long. is actually yeah, hey. just leaving orbit of, of Earth as I have gone through one oxygen tank already like literally i completely drained one of these tanks could put another one on but i don't feel like it right now like i've just been waiting around here for him to finally get launching off um let's see oh let's see so okay far away. The world is so such a square. Apparently, we are on like an island, and there's a lot more. No, 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 Jared, Jared, uh, Jared, cool. I think that's just a generic world look. Uh, I think in the past it's actually shown your world. Maybe. I'll go. Why does it say world. Mars asteroids in or Venus? Oh shoot! An asteroid just landed right no, near me. Well, I got aluminum. I need or a medium. bit more iron, a bit more tin, and no, an advanced wafer. So, like, 24 iron, 32 tin. Dude, 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 no, actually, no, that was actually a meteor uh, person who's not supposed to be talking while we were recording. Uh, what? Oh. Overworld. So, sorry about this clip being so long, guys. What? Overworld. Moon. Launch. launch. You didn't click on launch, you just clicked next to launch. Click on Overworld and click it again. Moon. Moon. Launch. There we go. Taking one small step. Yeah. It's a okay, guys. Jerry Cole is now loading into the moon. Let's see if I can spot him on my map here. My mini map. I'm still taking one small step. Oh, yeah. You're loading this dimension. Well, let me, I'm just going to go quickly check the server. Hopefully see what's going on happen. on that. But that, I mean, I'm checking. Um. What's going on? <sighs> oh, it, 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 it's calculating a lot of updates and stuff, and it's logging all that. Like, the, oh, you were taking off and junk. Oh, I just saw your screen limp. It's flipping the maps to Oh. Charity cool. What was this demon I typed? Um. Uh, 
Is GPJ already cool? Unable to teleport because it's not in the same dimension. Uh, I'm still on Earth, apparently. Or you're lost in orbit. Um, did your game crash? Well, I would have something else on the screen if that happened. Well, I think we're gonna call this the, the time. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna come back in a second when hopefully Jared Cole's game is feeling better. You okay, guys. Actually, I'm gonna um take off back. Go back and take off for no, home. Actually, while you're doing that, just make just make sure. Uh, just make sure I'm doing fine. Yeah, uh, Dirty Cool is gonna come up to the moon. I'm just gonna go back home. I'm gonna leave that tank and loader there. They should be fine. So, so we're happens? going back to Earth, guys. This is what happens when you have a weak PC. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get back to Earth before Dirty Cool gets to the moon, guys. And apparently, as the as the time goes and the stuff changes. The server is actually vlogging all these changes. It's weird. It's really weird. You see my beacon there, and we're far enough away. Say goodbye to the moon. Uh, okay. D too far away to actually see the moon. One of my tanks got depleted while I was waiting for, was waiting for Jared to go. Ah, am I still in Earth's atmosphere or not? Why can I? Oh, can I like boop. Don't know where that one boop or that or that or that I gotta stop. <laughs> I'm heading for the what looks like I think that's the sun. I'm on the moon, so I'm thinking that's the sun. Um okay, overworld. You can't create a space station, so overworld, launch back home. Oh, Jerry Cole's is still loading, and I'm already back on Earth. Hey, I'm still in my compound, too. What? I'm still in my compound here. Um, you can see there's blocks in my hand here. Um, where's the parachest landing? I, oh, yeah. is there a skeleton shooting Keep at me now? Keep on my screen, in case I flip over. Wait, is there two baby skeletons here? There is two baby skeletons that were shooting at me. You landed right next to your launch plate. Yeah. That actually makes sense. So it's yeah, I don't have room to pick up junk. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna say for now. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the dis dis Discord link in the description. I gotta go find the para chest wherever that thing landed, and pick up my rocket. And I will see you all later or in another episode. Bye.